action. He's getting to be quite a cowboy. Did you enjoy that, huh? <laughs> you did? We had quite a man-to-man -man talk on our ride out there. Oh? Yeah, I told him that great fight between his uncle and his daddy was now over. Did he believe you? Of course he did, because it's true. Mm -hmm. Pam, after the fire, we both realized just how much damage our fight had caused the family. I know it might have been a little late, but we decided to call it off. Ewing oil just isn't worth it. Bobby, can you and JR do that? Split the company and run it side by side? Well, eventually. We met with Harv Smithfield, told him that's what we wanted. Now, Daddy's will is still binding, but it's all a formality now. When it's all over, no matter who's ahead, we're gonna split the company. Well, who is ahead? <laughs> right now, I'd say JR is. There we go. <laughs> well, it's ironic, isn't it? After the big fight I had with Cliff, good baby, we're giving you the tundra toward. Now it doesn't mean anything at all. Uh, that's not true, honey. That drill bit works. It's gonna mean a lot of money to you and Oil and to Barnes Wentworth. How much more money do we all need? <laughs> Pam, I know how you felt about all of that before. But the fight between JR and me is over now. Is there any chance you and Christopher will come back to Southport? Bobby, that's not fair. Well, I know. I'm not sure that being fair is going to get you to move back here. I don't know if anything else will. It's not just the fight between you and JR. It's all mixed up with my mother and you and everything that's happened. 